If you've ever wanted to live in a mansion in New York City, this is your chance. Welcome to Brooklyn, and today we're looking at a mansion right here in Bushwick. Now, this is a pretty interesting part of town. It's got everything that you need around that Broadway, above ground train tracks that is just like the most prominent feature of the neighborhood. And then there's little parks like this, which are super, super quiet. There's like nothing going on here. And you wouldn't know that just around the corner, there's tons of shops, little restaurants, everything from like a McDonald's to like a bodega right at your fingertips. The building's on a side street like this, but it's nice to be in an area where you can find just about everything without too much of a commute. And according to this sign, this park has a little pool. Check that out. It's not very big, but there aren't too many of these in New York City. But if you live close to one, it might actually make sense to go. Now this charming above ground structure, this is the subway. I'm up here at the top, you can see a lot. Gives you a good idea of what the neighborhood is like. We're over here and the apartment's pretty close. You can get to Manhattan if you want to. On the J train. This is pretty convenient. You got a full grocery store, which is literally right next to the train. You got shopping carts, and they tell you what the specials are on the window. Bodegas never have any specials. Next to the grocery store, we got a little fish market. Daily fresh fish. This looks like one of those places that's been here forever. We got your local Chinese food and your local city bike. Now, if you just moved here and you wanna have a croissant for breakfast, we got a French bakery, which is way better than a Dunkin' Donuts. Plus, I never heard of it before, which means it's not Paris Baguette. Little Caesars. Hey, $7, you can get a pizza. This is how the game plan works. You line up your troops, then you go over here and get yourself Little Caesars. Put me in, coach. Shout out to Texas Chicken. They have the cheapest hot chicken sandwich I think I've ever seen. It's it even comes in Inferno. Now, if you find yourself with a sudden craving for junk food, the Super Shop Deli and Grill, they will sell you M&M's Brownie Brittle, every flavor of Cookie Pop, and they got Requisite Ice Machine, then we got Boost Mobile, and there's a Holiday Inn Express. Didn't know they had hotels here. Isn't that something? Maybe it was a greenhouse at one point. In fact, this entire corner right here has these weird little buildings. They're building something in there, probably another luxury building. Oh, here we go, local restaurant. Nice, they got lobster, they got crab, they got fried fish, and the essentials. I don't know what the name is. Is it Monumento? Maybe. And if you're wondering why there's all these appliances, this is refrigerator repair, and it looks like dryer repair. And there's a little cat in the window. He does not look friendly at all. You can get yourself some new sneaks. Blue, yellow, white, perfect if you're Swedish. And then we got the local 99 cent discount store. And check out this deli. The whole thing is covered in like crazy artwork. Just look at the detail in that iguana. It definitely took time and effort. And next to that, we got a whole fresh flower store. Oh, these smell pretty good actually. And they're probably not too pricey. Are these tulips? They look like tulips. Everybody loves tulips, right? You can also get yourself a little cactus for your office. What's the story here? Did it used to be like someone lived here, it was a family? What, what's the deal? This is so cool. I can't give you the full history about it. That's okay. I don't, I don't think it's haunted or anything. Greg says it's not haunted, so we can trust him. The interior's new? Yes. For reference, we're right here on the cross between Bushwick and Grove, right on the corner. And this is so interesting. Look, you can see there's like space all the way around the property for stuff. But obviously when you look closely, you can see that there's cameras and everything. Old school walkway with a new entry. This is like the most non-New York apartment in New York. I love the alleyway views of this thing. It's newly renovated and we have two floors. Ooh, that's pretty crazy. This is like living in a small house. A small house that used to be part 
of a real house. What rent do we have for this? Three, 4,000? 3,000. 3,000. 1.5 1. bed, 1.5 bath. Do you think it's gonna be split up as like a roommate apartment or do you think it's gonna be like, like a non-roommate situation? You could go either or. I'm thinking roommates, 1,500 each. So technically a basement can't be described as a bedroom. That's why the listing's 1.5 bed. So if you and your frat brothers put a bed in there, they still don't have a bedroom. Dude, it's nice and modern in here. It's all redone. Look at this, that's so unique. I wonder how much of this is original and how much of it's obviously not. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> is this included with the building? Do you get a parking spot? I'm still waiting to hear back on the listing agent. It's probably gonna be additional. Okay. And then we got this little fire pit over here we can check out. That's a hammock? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. You bring your own. It is Brooklyn. People in Brooklyn might already have their own hammock. More than one. No, it's okay to start fires here. You don't need like the super's permission. You don't need any training. No training. I think this is really nice. Here we have this quiet little building, which is near a busy part of town and the subway, but we don't have any of that noise or chaos. It's like, it's like a garden. It is a garden. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that window, that's the window to the apartment. Yes. Everything about this is cool. Even this aluminum siding with some barbed wire and this retaining wall. I guess that's going to be a new building. Greg, I see there's an irrigated uh, flower box. Is this for growing your own sustainable garden? You could do that. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, Greg thinks I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> Laundry and buildings. Okay, you sign up and then it tells you when your laundry's done. So you're not that neighbor that leaves their dog bed in here for like five weeks after it's being cleaned. But you can tell it's a well cared for building. Nothing down here is dirty, it's clean, it's well kept. There's not like soap everywhere. And that's reassuring because since we have a duplex apartment, it is also down here in the basement. And clean basements, that is a good thing. So this is 27 feet long. What's the width? 10 feet, two inches. 10 feet, two inches. That means the iPhone measuring app is wrong. I got nine feet when I did it. That's a laser. Now that staircase, that was not bad at all. And it's gonna be pretty easy to traverse this, which makes this whole area really flexible. It could be a bedroom, it could be a living room, it could be that business that Greg's not supposed to know you're running down here. Exactly, yes. What do we have here? Oh, the water heater. Perfect. Uh, I feel like you could make this also a broom closet. I've seen people do that. I just don't think you should put anything on top of the water heater, even though the AC remote was on here. Also, look at the view. We're getting natural light, which is super rare for basements. Most of the time when you see a basement, does it get any sunlight? Usually not, right? Yeah. yeah. Zero. And then this actually leads over to where the laundry room is located. It's down the hall this way. That's the apartment window. And look, you could plant like a little garden or something in here. It would get light until that building gets built. How's the security on that? Oh, it's pretty good. It's a nice, nice big deadbolt. If somebody wants this to be a bedroom, can they put like a wall up where we're standing? Does the building have any rules? I don't know. Like they have those cubicle walls, so you just put anchors in here. And okay. Like a partial partition. Oh, and the top would stay open. So each square here is about a foot, and if we go from here to the wall, that gives us a 10 foot by 10 foot bedroom. It wouldn't be sunny, but it would save you some money. Yeah, I thought it rhymed. That rhymed? Yeah, go with it. <laughs> so two people that want to pay 1500 each, I think that's good. That's better than what you're getting elsewhere. And then over here, we've got all this other space which could be used for hanging out. And since we're in the basement, it'll be good for sleeping, great for watching movies. It's like big. We got some serious water pressure because we're in the basement. This super long mirror. That was probably a full length mirror, but they just put it sideways. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Could you remove it and put it on the door? You'd probably lose your security. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You'd have to get another one. If this is a bedroom down here, or even if it's like a movie room, you don't have to go upstairs to watch TikToks in the TikTok chair. Also, the storage is pretty good. Look at that. We got a nice big cabinet, and there's absolutely nothing to be surprised of in here because it's a well-maintained building. If you're going to rent an apartment, which has part of it in the basement, and you see something like this, look in there and see if you find anything. If you do, don't rent that place. Make sure it looks like this. Look at that 
water pressure. It's a nice, happy kitchen. Blue is a happy color, and look, we got the LED strip. Cabinets, you don't see these every day. Lamborghini doors in your kitchen. <laughs> Greg, how tall are you? Six foot. Six foot, and you can reach everything. Bro, my roommate's bullying me. I can't close it. <laughs> Interesting, look, we have like a, an outlet box, but um, you can't plug anything in there. But that's not a big deal because we have four outlets in a couple of places, and best of all, we have the, uh, the magnet. It's for your knives, is yeah. that what that's for? You have a big steak knife right there. Chop something up. Look at this, we got ourselves a little dishwasher. This kitchen has everything. And you know, the more I look at it, the more I like it. On the stove, there's enough room to make things. We have a full-size fridge with the overhead snack drawer. That's always where the chips and stuff go. You know, the big jug of popcorn, pull it down, share it with your friends. And the other reason this is impressive is because when you look at the rest of the upstairs, there's not a lot of room for a big kitchen. So the only other place they could have put the kitchen is in like this slot, this little area. But I'm glad they didn't because this can be like a place for a table. We got a couch here. I, I like the idea of a breakfast nook better. Mm. Window. Smart, inspiring too. Eating your fruity pebbles while looking out on a New York City morning. It's a nice looking building. There are worse first floor duplex views. Honestly, I have no problem with this. It's not loud or busy. And the barbed wire makes me feel safe. Bedroom. This is definitely the absolute sunniest room in the apartment. You can see we're looking out over the fire pit. You could climb out your window and just go there. This is east, right? That's why it's so bright. Southeast. Southeast. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely gonna get a sunburn if your face is like where my hand is. What size bed do you think it'll fit? This, you're looking at a twin. Maybe a full if you get it in that corner. Luckily, the closet door has been removed. You can have your bed pretty much almost right up against it. Five feet from the door to the window. Yeah, so you could get a full. That might be what most people do because that way you can kind of have your bed by the window. And then the rest of this corner can be dressers over by where the closet is. Also, every room here has a heater slash AC in it. And that's nice if you want your bedroom a different temperature than the living room or the other rooms, you can save on electricity by turning those off. Also, if you do make this place a two bedroom, this is about the amount of space the person downstairs would have. Granted, their space is gonna be a little bit bigger than that, but they don't have the window and they are on another floor. So lots of privacy if this is a two roommate place. Solid looking primary bathroom up here on the top floor. If you want to take a bath, this tub would be just about perfect for that. Plus look at this relaxing tile. It's like sand at the beach. Water pressure's good, and it's a big room. They could have made this smaller, made part of it a closet, but actually behind the door right up here, we've got like a linens shelf. You know, you go to a hotel, they got the robe, they got the towels up there, you can do the exact same thing. Just don't make it an Airbnb. The city's actually gonna make it so you need a permit if you wanna do Airbnb now, which anyways, if you're lucky enough to get that permit and you wanna Airbnb this, I guess you could. Probably a bad idea though. Water pressure in here's great. Mirror is great. 1500 per person. You're welcome, Cash. Greg's info, it's right here. If you want a great place, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.